God, he was so handsome. Always dressed so dapper. His shoes always shined. I always thought he should have been a movie star, like Gary Cooper, only very short. <laughs> Mostly, I, I remember his pockets. When I was six or seven, he'd always bring me home a little surprise, like a Hershey or a top. He'd tell me to go and get it in his coat pockets, so I would run to the closet and put my hand in, and it felt as big as a tent. <laughs> I wanted to just crawl in there and, and go to sleep. And there were all these horrific things in there like juicy fruit gum, spearmint lifesavers, bits of cellophane and these crumbled pieces of tobacco and movie stubs and nickels and rubber bands and paper clips and these gray suede gloves that he wore in the winter time. And then I, I found his coat in mom's closet and I put my hand in his pocket and and everything was gone. It was, it was emptied and, and dry cleaned. It felt so cold. And that's when I knew. That's when I knew he was really dead. Oh God. I wish I had my own place to live in. I hate being a boarder.